no fubara. Well, back here in Lagos State, where the Federal Road Safety Corps has embarked on an audacious move, clamping down on articulated vehicles carrying animals and humans, as well as vehicles carrying fuel in jerry cans. Today, several trucks were arrested alongside their passengers for carrying animals from several states into Lagos. This stems from the fact that the Corps is worried over the increasing rate of road crashes involving overloaded trailers and lorries. The Corps Marshal of the Federal Safety Corps, Dauda Biu, had in March urged the commanders to go after articulated vehicles loaded with human beings and animals plying the highways. This arrest is just a few out of the many that have been apprehended. Henceforth, any truck carrying uh, goods and passengers, and uh, the men of the Federal Road Safety there are on the highway, they will be apprehended. So we are advising them to desist from this uh, because recently a lot of lives have been lost as a result of this uh, uh, attitude or behavior. So we are calling on all motorists, most especially truck owners, to desist from that. Equally, we are also we are also. Uh, uh, on a campaign of uh, people carrying uh, uh, fuel in jerrycans in their vehicles. Right, FRS in Lagos State Sector Commander Patrick Davo joins me live to talk about this development. Good to have you join us. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> for a lot, these are three issues. First of all, um, articulated vehicles carrying humans, then yeah. articulated vehicles carrying animals and then vehicles carrying fuel in jerry cans. Yes. But I want to start with the articulated vehicles carrying animals. For a lot of people, they're wondering why would you go after articulated vehicles carrying animals? Um, I'm considering that, look, if you do that, that might lead to a shortage in, in meat and, and all of that. Uh, the truth of the matter is this. Uh, recently, we've had uh, statistics of uh, articulated vehicles carrying animals with humans on top of these trucks. Uh, what happens is that when a crash occurs, it might not be the crash itself that will lead to the loss of lives of these people, but probably those items, those animals too, in the vehicle, could be responsible for the death of those people. So what the core is doing now is that it's a nationwide campaign directed by the core marshal. And uh, we have been asked to go out there to apprehend all vehicles articulated that are carrying uh, both uh, humans and uh, animals in them. Uh, so it is not just, sorry to interrupt you, it is not just vehicles, it is not articulated vehicles carrying animals, but those that are carrying animals and humans together. Yes. Okay. Yes. If the vehicle, if the articulated vehicle is carrying only the animals, there's no much problem. The owners of the animals could join a bus and uh, go with the, the vehicle. But when they load the animals, you see a lot of people on top of it. And when they, at the event of any crash, like I said, it becomes very, very hazardous. So mm. we are out there to ask them. We are telling them to stop. If you must go, if you are the owner of the animals, you can join another vehicle. And go with your, 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 your animals, just like other goods, like people, mm. the other tankers, or the other trailers, loading goods. Mm. Could be people rising, sitting could be on top, could be rising, anything. could be anything. Right. But, mm. Sorry, to I want okay. to get to the human part, because that would be the one that is more interesting for people. Yes. Because people have reported, you know, seeing um, vehicles, articulated vehicles, just carrying humans, a lot of humans in them. Mm. And for them, you know, they ha that has security implication. But this mostly, they say, happen happens at night. Mm. So how do you intend to deal with that? Uh, the, even all that, the articulated carrying vehicle carrying a lot of humans, we, at times, too, when we see them, we stop them, and they're also equally apprehended. But at night, we, at night, uh, Johnny, we don't walk in the night because we are not... Uh, we don't have, uh, we are not armed, so our safety is not uh, guaranteed at night. Or well, in the daytime, when we see them, we apprehend them. We but if they then reverse it, because again, it's one thing to say we apprehend you during the day, 
But if they decide to now start coming at night, what then happens? We have been talking about, uh, we have been advising motorists not to embark on night journeys. Mm. That has been our campaign long before now. So we don't advocate night journeys. Anybody who does that is at his own risk. And anything could happen at night. So we don't advise drivers to even embark on night journeys in the first place. Okay, so for the, for the fuel in Jerry, a vehicle's carrying fuel in Jerry can, you know sometimes that is necessitated by this, the situation of things. Yeah. Um, during the last fuel scarcity, a lot, of, um, a lot of petrol stations were not, in fact, they were hardly selling to cars. Some of them were selling to um, you know, people with jerry cans because they wanted, you know, as you are buying from jerry cans, you, you are tipping them maybe 1,000 or 2,000 naira. Yeah. And then sometimes there's also the uh, generator at home, and so you buy you know, for your generator at home. Um, Again, I want to get the, the rationale behind arresting vehicles with fuel carrying jerrycans jerry carrying fuel. Yes, the rationale behind this is that a lot of vehicles, most especially interstate bus, uh, bus transport, people moving from one state to mm -hmm. the other, you see a lot of these buses carrying extra jerrycans mm -hmm. of fuel in them. What we are saying here is that it is not good enough. Because, yes, for safety, because anything can happen. If there's a leakage from the jerry can and uh, probably the exhaust, this thing, the fuel leaked and dropped on the exhaust, fire could, there could be an outbreak of uh, fire. And that means that the life in, uh, all the lives in that vehicle is at, is, is at the mercy of God. Mm. So we are not advising vehicles to carry jerry cans. And what we do when we stop you and we, have, we see that you have jerry cans of fuel in your vehicle, we ask you to pour all the, uh, the fuel inside your tank. If the tank cannot uh, accommodate all, then you know how to dispose it. The FRC is not there to collect your jerry cans of fuel, but to ask you that you must go without it. It's either you refill your tank, or you see any other person who needs it, and you sell it to him, but you will not go with it. Mm. That is our campaign, and it's nationwide. We've seen that you've made a lot of arrests yeah. um, already. We'll continue to follow this particular development and see how it progresses. Thank you yes. so much for your time. You Lagos much. State Sector Commander for the FRSC, Patrick Davo. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, let's turn to other stories. Sunday, 